Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here for yet another LEGO set review. For this LEGO set review, we are going to be reviewing the LEGO Friends Olivia's Treehouse. Set number 3065. I don't think that showed up. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> so here you get to build uh, the treehouse and a couple of other accessories as you can see here. We're going to take a look at those and you also get one minifig with this set. So we'll take a look at the minifig first. So here's the minifig for this set. Um, if you recall from the previous uh, set review I did of Olivia's house, this is not the actual shirt the set comes with. It comes with something totally different. Um, and the reason for that is because I lost the shirt and the old shirt I have doesn't work right. But the skirt that she's wearing is the skirt that it comes with. Um, it's, she's got white boots on and some pink leggings and a blue skirt with that as well. Um, her face and her hair are the same for the treehouse. And like I mentioned, the reason I bought this set was because of the shirt situation um, from the Olivia's house. So um, she's pretty much the same when you get the minifigure except for the skirt. Let's take a look at the set now. So the first thing we're going to look at here is this cat with a bed. You build the bed and it comes with this cat here. Now if you recall from the Olivia's house set, it did come with a cat also, but this cat in the tree house set is different because of the colors and the printed details on the top here. You got this on the tail and this on the um, top of the head as well. And um, you can also put like a bow in here if you would like. Um, and they also did the same thing with the um, white cat. I forgot to mention that as well. So you could put like some bows or flowers or anything you like here. So we'll put that to the side and we'll take a look at the bed. The bed is just pretty simple. It's on a four by four lime tile plate with uh, looks like some bay pieces and you got a jumper plate in the middle and you've got some smooth tiles with that as well. So it's just pretty simple bed for the cat um, and the cat just sits right in the middle on the jumper plate. So the next thing we're going to take a look at this set is another animal that comes with the set, the parrot. And we're going to take a look at this birdhouse you get to build here. So the parrot is just a simple parrot obviously. Um, it's just a yellow parrot. She also has a hole you could put something on the top if you like and she can just sit like on this ledge here like so and the birdhouse itself it's like this four by what is this six tile it's on this four by six tile and it's got this little um thing here that kind of represents like a tree branch kind of it reminds me of and this ladybug here you remember these from the previous uh set review i did they are back for the tree house so you get to use some of these bricks again for the tree house on the top here we have this uh white and yellow colored pattern with a little crescent you got some looks like some barrels there and here's the roof. It kind of reminds me of a doghouse in a way, but it's not really a doghouse. Um, but that's the um, birdhouse. Let's take a look at the treehouse, finally. Now let's go with the main feature of the set, the treehouse. Now the treehouse is actually a little small, but it's got a lot of features to it. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what this treehouse has to offer. To start, we have here a fish in this pink bowl here. If I can focus, there we go. We got this little fish with a milk carton. That milk carton is also printed, if you remember from the Olivia's house. Over here, we have this bench made out of one by two bricks and one by six smooth tiles. And I really don't know why it's purple and pink. I think that is a super odd color, but I guess it is what it is. So there's that. Got some butterflies and some flowers here. More flowers and a butterfly, like those bag of bricks with all the goodies in that. Here is a little cool feature with the set. So this is a tree branch, but if you move it, there are gems inside. You got a red gem and a yellow gem, and you build this little um, compartment for that. And this just kind of moves on its own. It's on a, if I can move this. It's on some pegs, so it's kind of sturdy enough so that it doesn't fall off. 
we have this ladder here, and I really don't know why it's this light blue color. Why would you pick maybe purple or pink to go with the scheme? I don't know, but there's a light blue ladder with that. We have some more tree branches up here. We got some ladybugs and roses and ladybugs and roses and roses and ladybugs. But here is the second floor here. Again, with that purple and pink feature to it, I really don't know why. But I like this detail with the 1x6 smooth tiles, how it's got that separated wooden look to it. It's on the same on this side as well. We have another butterfly right there. We also have this telescope here. Um, and it's got this little skeleton hand that you can just sit right up on top here. You got a little bit of room for some play, I guess. But uh, other than that, you really don't have that much room to play. We have this random branch here. I really don't know why this branch is here. And it's got a poinsettia on it. We have this... I don't know why they didn't pick a ladder, but um, we have, like, a makeshift ladder. So, and this does move a, just a little bit, but not, like, too bad. Um, it's on these... I used to call them stones, but they're not stones. They're actually called um, some kind of slope. But you really don't have that much room to um, move the ladder. So, um, and you really don't have that much room to move this ladder either. Um, it's sitting in between these tiles here, so you really can't move that as well. If we move up to the third floor, we have more branches with poinsettias and poinsettias and butterflies and these things that look like poinsettias and more of these things that look like poinsettias. But we are here for one cool feature. It is this bucket here. So Olivia can climb up to this ladder here and on top of this bucket, and I'll grab the figure. You can either have her sit or have her stand, but she can preferably sit because I tried it earlier and she just did not want to stand. So um, it is actually one whole element. Um, it just kind of sits on this one by two tiles with that are purple, I guess. <laughs> um, but... She just sits on top like that, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much the whole set. Um, I think now it's time for a rating for this set. Now it's time to give a rating for this set. If I can focus. There we go. <laughs> um, I give this set a 6 out of 10. Now, the reason I give it a 6 out of 10 is there are a few flaws, um, the, I really didn't want this set in the first place, but the only reason I bought this set was for the minifigure to get the shirt situation under control because the shirt was the same for the treehouse. So I thought, oh, well, maybe, you know, if I use the same shirt, it will work. Well, then I lost it and then I'd use the old shirt. And now I have to have her in this weird red shirt. If I can focus. There we go. <laughs> um, like I said, there are some flaws. Like I said, you can't really move these ladders well. Um, the purple and the plank, the plank, <laughs> the purple and the pink don't really mix well together in my opinion. Um, maybe if you went in with some browns, but there is a, that would be too much brown with the set. So I kind of see what Lego was doing there. But other than that, um, I like these two little accessories that you built here with the birch, not birch. I cannot talk today, guys. I am so sorry. The bird house and the cat bed the cat bed was actually a good color we'll say so that was maybe some blue would have looked nice but we also have the blue bucket and the blue ladder which again that blue ladder did not make sense at all but the blue bucket does kind of make sense but again the colors here just don't really match well at all um if you were to get this set maybe it'd be, it would be definitely a good addition to the olivia's house Maybe if they made it all one set, maybe even bigger, that would have been cool. But they had just made them separate sets, I guess. So that's kind of doesn't make sense to me. But other than that, this is a decently small set. Um, for me, in my opinion, I like the big sets. And I was a kid, I did feel like this was a little big. But still, it is a very, very small set looking at it now that I'm older. Um, but... It is a good addition to have, actually, to your Olivia's house if you do have Olivia's house. This I would recommend getting a tree house for Olivia if you do have that set. So that is my recommendations for the set. And thank you guys so much for watching these LEGO set reviews. Stay tuned for more LEGO set reviews coming soon in the near future.